Hi guys, it's Miss Esquivel, and today we're going to talk about Operation Christmas Child. And Operation Christmas Child is something that's near and dear to my heart, so I cannot wait to share it with you. So what is Operation Christmas Child? So Operation Christmas Child is where you pack this shoebox full of goodies, which we'll get a little bit more into in a second, and you send them to kids who normally don't get Christmas gifts. So you and I here, we live a very different life than the kids who receive these items do. They live in what's called poverty-stricken areas, which the word poverty means that it's very low income. It's very, they have very, very little money. So they don't have money to do things like Christmas gifts or even like how we're using laptops today. They don't have devices like that. They don't have tablets. They, they really have supplies to go to school if they can even afford to go to school. So these items go to places all over the world. I've had them go to Ghana in Africa, to Haiti, to Mexico. Um, they've kind of gone all over the place. So they reach kids all over the world, which is super special. So what goes in a shoebox? Well, since it is around Christmas time, we want these kids to get a gift, right? They don't normally get gifts because they don't have, their family doesn't have the money to um, do that. So we pack them, we put um, a toy, some little toys. I always put school supplies because, um, again, they don't have money to go have school supplies or even if they can go to school. Hygiene products because they don't have access to stuff like that either. It's stuff that we take for granted every day like soap, toothbrushes, washcloths, um, floss, stuff like that that we use every day that we think is nothing. is so special and important to them. So you pick, pack all of that in a shoebox and it gets sent everywhere. So it goes from churches and schools and communities and their own your own family can even pack a box and you take it to a drop-off center. So I take mine to a drop-off center and from there they go to a warehouse where they get looked at just to make sure that there's no items in there that shouldn't be in there. And then from there, they go all over the world in the craziest ways. They go on ships. They go on planes. From there, they go to really hard-to-reach places. So I remember how we went over the biomes. Well, they go to deserts. You know, they go to rainforests. They go to the craziest places. So they have, like, camels who take them to the villages and trucks and mules and to get them to the mountains. So all these different ways that they travel – and then they finally get to the kiddos and they get to open them. So these kids are super, super grateful for anything that they receive. This is stuff that they don't normally get. And again, it's stuff that we, I mean, we see every day. You probably don't, wouldn't get too excited if you open a box with a Hot Wheel. But these kids do. It's super important, special to them because they don't usually get stuff like this. So I think for World Kindness Day, it's important that we remember that, that everything that we do have, we should definitely not take it for granted. Be super grateful for the resources and everything that you have. Look at these faces, the cutest. So I do, um, I pack boxes every year, and I've done it for five years now. This will be my fifth year. My first year, I did 15 boxes. So that means 15 kids were able to receive a Christmas gift that they don't normally get. My second year, this picture is from my second year, I was able to do 60 boxes. So that means 60 kids were able to receive a gift. And then this last year, or not last year, the year before last year, I did 80 boxes. So that means 80 kids were able to receive a gift for Christmas. And last year, I did 100 boxes. So again, 100 kids that are able to receive a gift. And I'm doing 100 this year as well. And something I forgot to mention that's super important that – um, goes inside our shoebox is a letter. And usually you put a picture and a letter just saying that you're thinking about them and that you hope that they have the most amazing Christmas ever. And just to make it super personal. So what I want us to do, since I'm doing a hundred boxes this year, I want y'all's help with sending 
um, letters to all of these kids. So what you're going to do is you are going to write a letter to a kid and I'm gonna put it inside one of my shoe boxes. And so they're gonna be able to hear how much you're thinking of them, how excited you are for them to receive these items and just to share love, right? We're spreading love and kindness. So just say super sweet words to them to keep them encouraged and to let them know that they matter and that you care. But yeah.